Okay, so here we're going to look at grow nutrient formulations. Typically, you'll see companies market the word grow on their fertilizers, uh, and as these four have, and what that kind of equates to is a larger amount or percentage of nitrogen that they contain. Keep in mind it's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. This is a 1266, this is a 633, a 795, and so on and so forth. There's no set um, fertilizer ratio. Typically, grow nutrients will simply just have more nitrogen. So this is containing more nitrogen. The goal is to produce a greater plant growth, more leaf growth, more top growth. Keep in mind, though, if you are planning on cloning the plant, you may want to watch how much nitrogen you feed your plants because that can potentially negatively impact your ability to clone that mother plant going forward. Now, that nitrogen I mentioned, this nutrient is very quick acting, so it's better to focus on feeding just enough uh, because it's easy to overfeed with this nutrient. If you are um, suspecting a nitrogen deficiency, add some nitrogen-based fertilizer, water it in so it gets to the root zone, and wait about three to four days. If you see a change in the plant response, then it was nitrogen. If you don't, then move on to something else. Don't keep adding nitrogen. It also comes in different forms. We have urea here, uh, calcium nitrate, and blood meal, all kind of ways of delivering nitrogen, very different amounts. This is 13% and this one is 46% nitrogen. So that will adjust the amounts that you do add um, to your plants. Remember that growth formulations may have higher nitrogen number, uh, but there's other nutrients to consider, phosphorus and potassium. Do not simply apply for the nitrogen and ignore the other nutrients that you're adding. Now, this must be taken into consideration as you plan your long-term growth cycle. So for example, this uh, nutrient here says grow. You would think it's high nitrogen. It is uh, contains 7% but 4% phosphorus and 10% potassium. So if you're just focusing on the nitrogen here, you could be over adding on the potassium end of things. So this is why you gotta look at the entire nutrient blend and applying it kind of as part of an entire program for the growth cycle and not just focusing on one particular nutrient. Lastly, there's something called flushing the media where plants may involve adding water, just like the toilet toilet bowl here where you're flushing with about three times the volume of the media to help remove excessive salts and nutrient buildup that may have occurred. However, this is in part where careful additions are important. You want to kind of selectively add your nutrients. This will help reduce the chance of building up ex excessive salts, which can damage the root system. And reduce that your need to flush the plants. When you're flushing the plants here, you're kind of potentially wasting out on some nutrients. So if you kind of want to be very careful on your feeding program throughout the entire growth cycle, so you're as efficient as possible in minimizing waste.